Hey, this is Mike with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our new module, the Student Survey Question Pool, in order to uh, survey your students uh, how the course is going in Blackboard. So if you see here, um, I'm here in my tutorials page. It's tutorials.gs.wm.edu. And when you get to that page, if you click on Blackboard Modules here on the menu on the left-hand side, you'll get to the Blackboard modules. And the module that we want to download right now is right here. It's this download the zip file, and I'll just click on that. And something like this should pop up. Now I just download it, and here's the download button right here at the top. And now I've downloaded that student survey zip file. It's right here. So now that I've got it, I just need to incorporate it into my Blackboard course. Very easy to do. First thing, I'll go to my Blackboard site, and let's say I wanted to embed, I wanted to upload these questions into my uh, informative Blackboard course site. So I'll click on that to choose it. And now if I scroll down in my control panel, you'll see I have course tools. And if I open up the course tools area, I'll scroll down to tests, surveys, and pools, and I'll click on test surveys and pools. And now I'm going to go to my pools area. And now just as easy as this, I'm going to say import pool. I'll browse my computer. I'll find that student survey pool .zip, and I'll open it and I'll click Submit, and I'll click OK. And now here you'll notice I have that student feedback survey, 86 questions, and I can go ahead and I can look at those questions. I'll click on this downward arrow and I'll say Edit. And here are all the questions that I have to choose from. Uh, there are a lot of questions, there's 86, but we've got them in categories for you. So if you click on the categories link to expand that, you'll see all the different categories. Now that you've embedded that survey into your Blackboard course, all that's left to do is to um, deploy it. So now to deploy your survey, you could do it in a, in a few different ways. I like to create a content area specifically for the survey. So I'll click on the plus here at the top of my Blackboard course, and I'll say content area. And I'll say mid-semester survey. And I'm not going to make that available to users yet. I'm going to wait until I've actually um, published that. So I'll click Submit. And there it is at the bottom, and I can put it wherever I want. Maybe I want it to be up high, so I'll grab it and I'll drag it up high. Um, and now I'll go to it, I'll click on it to select it, and if I go to Assessments, I'll go to Survey, and here's where I can create a new survey. And I can call this Mid-Semester Survey. I'll click Submit, and now I can go ahead and start adding questions. And I'll click Find Questions. And now this is going to bring up this window. It's not a very pretty window, but this is where I'm going to access uh, all of those questions that I imported. So if you notice here, I've got the student feedback survey. I'm going to choose that. And then here are all of those questions in my student feedback survey. And I can start selecting the individual ones that I want, um, or I can select them all if I like. Um, or I can just go to Categories. Remember, we, we had the Categories before, and if I click on Categories, this gives me the different categories. Um, so I could ask some open-ended questions if I wanted. Let's say I wanted to ask if I have any specific uh, re recommendations for improving the course, um, and I want one to three specific things I can do to improve the course. And I'll click Submit. And now those questions have been added, and then they're ready to deploy. Let's say those are the only two questions I wanted to select. Um, I could then click OK, and then I would, cr I would go ahead and be able to deploy that um, survey. So there's that mid-semester survey that I created, and I'll click Submit. 
And now I can choose um, the deployment settings. Um, I don't need to open the survey in a new window. I do need to make it available to students. I might want to create an announcement for it. And that's basically about it. I wouldn't really want to do too much more. Um, and then I go ahead and click Submit. And you can inform the students that now the survey is there for them to take. Uh, the one thing that you'll, you may want to do, well, I'll go ahead and hit Submit here. You'll need to make this window available. So if you go up to the top here, where you see mid-semester survey, that the link is hidden from the students. So I'm going to pull down the Chevron next to that and say show link. Now it's available to the students and they can click on it and they can begin the survey. And they can go ahead and fill all the questions out. They can save it and submit it and it will be anonymous.